Young actress Buse Buse Karaman is remembered as a name that received the reaction of a wide audience with her character Pelin in the TV series Yali Kapkini Golden Boy. In fact, she was so fed up with the harassment directed at her on social media last season that the actress rebellion still remains in our memories. Although the famous actress is not much affected by the negative comments written about him on social media, we have seen that the scriptwriters of the Yali Kapkini series are affected. When the Pelin character did not take part in the story in the second season, many viewers stated that they were very pleased with this situation. However, the failure to replace a character with a conflict element like Pelin in the script led to important consequences. After the story received more criticism compared to the first season, the scriptwriters agreed to bring back the character of Pelin as one of the solutions. With this situation, Buse Buse Karaman gave the best response to the heavy criticism against her and also rejoined the Yali Kapkini series with the character of Pelin. However, the actress has another project that deserves attention. Buse Buse Karaman also took part in the movie about the life of the famous artist Jem Karachi. Buse Buse Karaman, who starred in Jem Karakas Tears, gave the following information about the project. Biography films were a genre I wanted to take part in. Being the life of such a valuable and iconic artist inevitably brought many responsibilities to me, both as Buse and the character I played. Stating that the script immediately attracted him to the project and that it was not difficult for him to accept the role, Karaman also conducted in-depth research on Jem Karakas' life. The famous actress gave great importance to research in order to portray the character in the best way and stated that the film will deeply affect the audience. The young actress who put up a great effort for her new role, underlined that the movie, Jem Karakas Tears is a project that will impress the audience.